Oh, look at this integral. We can we can solve this integral, right? It's just partial fractions. Super easy. We just do partial fractions like this. All right. So let's see. It's the heavy side method. You just collect this fraction. Plug in three. It's negative one. Plug in three here. It's two times uh, one. Two. Uh, plug, let's see, 4, plug in 4 here, it's 1, plug in 4 here, it's 3 times 2, that's 6. Oh, super easy. So now this is, the answer is just 6 times ln of x minus 4. Just get this. And we're done, right? That, that is, that's, that's, that's not the, wait. This, this isn't the answer. This is actually incorrect. What went wrong here? I don't, I don't understand. Why, why, why is this incorrect? You see, there, there is a flaw in Heaviside method. The actual answer is x plus and then everything else. But why x? Why do we need to add an x there? Heaviside method only works when you have a polynomial on the, t uh, the, the, on the top and bottom. However, the numerator has to have a lower degree, or I should probably do it like this. We have a denominator here with some polynomial, and then we have a polynomial at the numerator, but the degree is lower than the denominators. So, Pretty much, Heaviside method only works if the polynomial on top is smaller than the polynomial on the bottom. Here, uh, the degrees are the same, right? Because over here, it's a, it's a x to the power of 2 polynomial, or I'm sorry, second degree polynomial, I guess what you would say. So they're both second degree polynomials, which means that you have to add an x for heavy side method. Then this whole thing would be correct. So, heavy side method mainly only works for polynomials like this or or some other polynomials. The the polynomial in the denominator has to be higher degree than the top then you can use Heaviside normally. If they're the same degree, then you do it normally, but you just add the x. You just add an x, and that's it. So here, again, partial fractions. Uh, but here, we have to go like this. Oh, well, actually, we don't really have to put it in a go. We just do a setup. Just do our setup. Right. And then plug in 1, we get negative 1 here. Uh, plug in 1 here, we get 3. Plug in 2, that's 1. Plug in 2 here, that's like 6. So now our answer is well, this is x squared polynomial on top, x squared, polynomial on the bottom. They're the same degree. We have to add an x. We have to add an x. x and then plus 6 ln of x minus 2 minus 3 ln x minus 1. That is our answer. Do not forget about this x. So now you're probably wondering what the hell is going on here we use heavy side method here we add an x what what's what's going on behind here well what if we don't use heavy side method and we just sort of see what is actually going on so we'll just sort of start easy a b if we didn't do heavy side method here's what it would look like we would get x plus 1 equal to ax plus b x minus 1. If we plug in x equals to 1 would give us 
let's see, 2 equals a. Okay. If we let x equal to 0, then we get 1 equals 2 negative b. So b equals to negative 1. And so we would get, let me put orange, we would end up getting x minus 1, 2, plus negative, well, negative, it's a negative, negative 1, x. So we would get this. So here, we didn't have a 1. Okay, but then now let's try this side. All right, so here, let me put an arrow. It's not really an equal, uh, just an arrow. If we do the same thing, right? If we do the same thing, we get x squared plus one. Just making sure I'm doing everything correctly here. A x plus b x minus one. Okay, so now if I let x equal to 1, if I let x equal to 1, I get 2 equals to a. If I let x equal to 0, then what? 0, it's 1 equal to negative b. Okay, so b is equal to negative 1. Wait. But what happened? What happened here? Is, isn't this the same thing? Is, is this not the same thing? What happened here? 2, okay. So a is equal to 2, x minus 1, and then minus 1 over x. That's the same thing. What happened? This and this are the same thing. But this and this are not the same thing. What just happened? There is a flaw, right? If we actually, let me erase this scratch work. Okay. So let me write this in sky blue or scion. Let's actually test if we actually compute or simplify this fraction. You get 2x minus x minus 1, x times x minus 1. When then we simplify this, this becomes 2x minus x, that's x, and then plus 1. Okay, so this is correct here, right? Which is, I mean, which makes sense because the degree in the top is smaller than the degree on, on the bottom. That's that's heavy side. Here, what happened here? Why isn't this one true? What happened? Why is it not true? I don't get it. Why is why is this one when I, when we do the same pattern it it doesn't work? What what happened? Well, the thing is it only works when again when the numerator, the degree on the top, is smaller than the degree on the bottom. That's not what we have here. So that's why it doesn't work. This is, this is a flaw. There's a flaw here. So you cannot use this method. Well, technically you can. You would just have to add an x. It just wouldn't be normal. If we add a 1, then we end up getting x times x minus 1 x plus 1 plus x x minus 1 okay and now we get let's see this is x square x square minus x plus 1 oh this is the exact same thing as this now that's actually kinda crazy but why plus 1? Why does it work for plus 1? The polynomial division 
is 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 the reason why it's it's one. Okay, it's it's just a polynomial division. So add add one or do the partial fraction and then x, and then you'll you'll end up still getting the same answer. So just be very careful and be aware of this. As you can see, it's just one. If you do add two x, then it's now two x. So it is the coefficient. 